My dude, it is, it is a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for being here in thanks, person. And thanks for having me. It's really nice to be somewhere in person, and not on Zoom, right? 100%. Oh, nice to, and also, you're here for a great day. You're here for, Father's, for the Father's Day show, man. <laughs> I'm really excited to hear it. Now, I know you are married to singer Lily Allen, and you're also helping to raise her two girls, right? Now, how is that going? How is that, that intro into fatherhood, and how is that going? Man? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a stepfather. You know, they have Absolutely. a wonderful uh, father who's a great man who they love very much, and I am a stepfather. And uh, I mean, I think anybody who has kids, it's like they are incredible, like vulnerable, beautiful. They'll break your heart like in a second. And Absolutely. also, it's just so much work and they just don't do what I want them to do. Right. Any, any time, <laughs> they never do what I want them to do. Absolutely, so you kind of, it's almost like you, you, you become a master at, uh, at checking your ego, right? You kind of use it, like checking your pride and your ego because as, as boisterous and, tr and try to hard body as you try to be, sometimes them little bodies can look at you and be like, nah, and then you just gotta deal with it. Yeah, I don't know if you have this experience, but I'm, I'm used to, you know, like I like to feel like I'm a good guy in the world, you know, and then they don't care at all. They don't think <laughs> I'm important or interesting in any way. In fact, one of the great things on the, on the show, you know, Stranger Things is that one of the little, they're eight and nine, so it's like mm -hmm. very young for them to like the show, but the nine-year-old, he really likes the show. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, you know, your stepdad is, uh, you know, one of, and she's like, yeah, but everybody likes all the other characters. They don't really <laughs> like you. So, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Just, I get it a lot. You get it, yeah, exactly. Okay. Just uh, expert at being humble, right, man? But, but you gotta tell us about this wedding, man. You guys got married in Vegas and you did it in proper Vegas style, right? Yeah, uh, we, you know, the pandemic was going on. They're British, so we were trying to get over from London. It was such a pain, and so we had to get married very quickly. Mm -hmm. And New York was terrible. London was terrible for marriages. So the only place you can really get married quickly and effectively is Las Vegas. Wow. So we went to Las Vegas for a day and a half, <laughs> and we were like, if we're going to get married, uh, we might as well do it with royalty. So we got married by the king himself. <laughs> <laughs> who is still alive and performing weddings in Vegas. <laughs> now, you also, that's, so, uh, that's amazing. And then tell us where the reception was after. I think this is probably my favorite part. Where yeah, was the we had a after? beautiful reception uh, catered by In-N-Out Burger. It was at the local In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> Love that picture, man. I love this because it's also it just it it really does. I think that fa that family life, um, life with kids, really just brings such uh, richness to life. And that, and something that really speaks to that is this video that was posted uh, of you and the girls. I think it might have been the other day or a couple weeks ago of the girls kind of dancing around and, and and jumping on you and stuff like that. I am like a big, you know, they're British, and I'm this big uh, cheese-fed American man, <laughs> and they really do like the fact that they have an extra jungle gym, kind right, of. I don't right. know if your kids, but they just crawl all Absolutely, over me. That's 100%. like, they make it their job Absolutely. to like try to hurt me <laughs> as much as they can. <laughs> My low back. Destroyed. Yeah, but you, but you just you you power through it because also you secretly love it though too, right? I like see, it's, it's, I love you love, it. of course it, I love. Right? I mean, anything I say about them, it's 100%. like one hundred percent. You know, I mean, I've never experienced this kind of. I, you know, I, I was always a, a single guy. I've been a bachelor for a long time. I've been an artist. I wanted to travel the world and do my work and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then, and I never really wanted to have kids. And then, I get it now why everybody has kids because mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know, the meaning of life. It's like you pass the torch to these other individuals and Absolutely. you love them more than you could ever love yourself. Absolutely. And I never thought that was possible with right. anyone. Right, I right. love myself a lot. <laughs> but it's really, uh, yeah, it's such a beautiful thing. My heart is just broken wide open and I, I have a new... A new Absolutely. love that I never had. I yeah. love that, man. I love that. Now, please, we gotta, we have to talk about Black Widow, man. All right. What, and, and I know you, you, you under the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I know the, the lips are going to be sealed, but yeah. what can you tell us about the movie and who you play? Uh, all right. Um, I play the Red Guardian. He's this guy, Alexei Shostakov, and um, he's this superhero in his own right. But he's a lot past his prime. He's been very beat up by life. Mm -hmm. And so he's still trying to tuck himself into his super suit with all that extra <laughs> flesh. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's struggling. I mean, it's a great movie. It has all the classic things that Marvel movies have. It has all this, like, action and these great huge set pieces. But it also has this real beating heart at the center of it, which is this weird family that Natasha Romanoff 
had before the Avengers in a sense. And so you'll get to see, you know, what that contributed to who she is. And it's, uh, yeah. It's man, I love that. And yeah, it's, yeah. man, I cannot wait to see, and I know I'm not alone in that. We sure cannot wait to see that. Yeah, I And, do. you know, we got to take a break. When we come back, we're going to play a game. But I just, I just want to slide this in there, too. I know you can't say too much, but, um, Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. Is it just just blink twice if it's if like if we can see something in the, in the next couple in the next like couple. Oh, just blink twice. It's all right. We'll go to break and then, and then you'll tell. We'll we'll be back more with David after this.